earlier this year, I was able to ride in a hot air balloon for the very first time. And man, what an experience that was. Uh, ever since then, I've been kind of looking at the real estate market a little bit differently. And so this week's show, we're going to tie it to a hot air balloon theme and uh, kind of see how uh, hot air balloons and real estate are similar. Hey there, it's Les Solgrove. This is Simply Des Moines Market Values for week 41, 2024. And the theme this week is currents of change in the real estate market in central Iowa. And um, yeah, there's going to be a few cheesy uh, uh, connections between hot air balloons and the real estate market, but I think you'll get the idea here. So let's jump in this week and kind of look at inventory only. We're not going to talk about pricing. We're going to, we're going to maybe uh, edge a little bit about interest rates, but um, we're going to really basically just talk only about inventory levels of active pendings and solds and kind of where we are this year and where we're kind of heading. So here we are, week 41. We are 50 listings this as of today away from hitting that magic 4,000 number. I really feel we're going to hit that here uh, you know, maybe this week we'll see how what happens here, but uh, sure would be nice to to break through that four thousand barrier. Um, and you know, we've been consistently uh, ahead of last year's inventory levels all year long, and some of that has to do with the you know the the, the pace of sales, uh, the buyer sentiments, the buyer's uh, you know ability or or feelings of purchasing out there. You know, that buyer affordability factor. Um, but I think that all in all, you know, we think 4,000 is a big number. That still isn't kind of back where we used to be back prior to COVID. Well, it was prior to COVID the last time we hit 4,000, but um, it wasn't that long ago we were in the 5,000 and even close to 6,000 homes for sale. So there's hope that, that our inventory levels will continue to grow as we move into 2024 or 2025. We're only in 2024 as we move into 2025. And um, I think that sales activity will pick up also as a result. So uh, as far as existing home sales, so we're going to kind of break this down today in between. I'll, I'll show you where we are overall on a couple of these graphics, but we're going to really focus on existing homes for sale and existing condo townhomes for sale. I'm purposely leaving out, with the exception of one reference to new construction, leaving new construction out because I kind of, um, you know, associate new construction with a tethered hot air balloon. I mean, if if the market is, uh, you know, changing, you know, they can uh, let the the rope out and and let the balloon go up a little bit higher. And if it's uh, kind of uh, contracting a little bit, they can do the opposite. They can pull it closer to ground. Whereas the existing home sales are really a, a a free flight of a, of the balloon analogy here. So uh, essentially, as you can see here, the I, I basically feel like the real estate market is at real estate market is at the mercy of the winds as we move into the year here. Um, existing home sales have consistently been higher. Uh, at least the number of homes for sales have been consistently higher this year. Uh, than last year. You know, we've already hit 2,000 homes for sale, and that's, you know, over half of the inventory right now is is uh, existing resale properties. And um, I don't think we're going to hit that 2,250 uh, before the end of the year, but uh, uh, it certainly is helping us hit that 4,000 uh, listings. Um, and uh, so as we move into uh, the rest of the year, we'll kind of see what what inventory levels do. You, know, you can kind of see that the the trend is uh, here for about three or four more weeks of either growth or slight growth, and then we start to tail off at the end of the year. And I think we'll kind of see that same pattern as we move towards uh, the last two months of 2024. As far as existing condo townhomes, you know this. Uh, uh, using that same analogy here, hitting a thermal updraft, we've certainly seen more homes on the market this year in the existing condo town home market than we have uh, in previous years. You know, 350 homes really realistically the last uh, three or four weeks here. Um, you know, when a year ago we were uh, under 200 homes predominantly for the uh, existing condo town home market uh, most of the year. So there's definitely um, you know, more inventory to, to pick from. We'll see that here in a second when I look at months of inventory. 
Um, but I think that maybe we have peaked as far as uh, the number of existing condo townhomes uh, that are on the market. As far as uh, ex uh, pending sale pace, this is the uh, the pace over the last 30 days. It kind of gives us a little better rolling average here. Uh, looking at this number here, this is the number of homes under contract versus 2023. And you can see that, you know, really the the last, uh, let's see, it looks like about the last six, mar six weeks, we've seen increases in pending sale paces. Um, and, and a lot of this is picked up after the, uh, the mortgage interest rates started to really come down and we started to really realize and, and proof was that that uh, mortgage interest rates were dropping. So we're seeing, um, you know, inventory uh, of pending sales increase um, week over week. And that's direct contrast to where we were last year because we were basically on a downhill slide ever since about uh, September of last year. And right now we're still growing. Um, it kind of leveled off this last week, but I think, uh, you know, we're going to probably start to see um, a little bit more activity and, and hopefully outpace uh, our 30 day sales pace for the, the remaining year. As far as existing home sales go, again, same kind of thing here. You can see this is just the existing home sales. Uh, again, about the last six weeks, we've seen this pace increase. Um, not nearly at the same uh, 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 spread that we saw overall here. But, um, you know, again, we're going to probably see that uh, move. Um, over last year, the, the condo townhome sales, again, the same thing, the five week run on that particular category. Although you can see that the spread is, is pretty dramatic the last three weeks. And that's uh, probably a good sign for someone out there with the condominium townhome for sale, because we're seeing more activity as we move into the fall, uh, getting into the uh, end of closer to the end of the year uh, run here in the fourth quarter. As far as year-to-date closed sales, now I am going to talk a little bit about um, new construction here in the next slide uh, just for a second. But um, as of December 31st of last year, we closed just over 13,000 closed sales. That was on December 31st. We actually closed around 13,400 or 13,500 total sales last year. But as of the actual December 31st date, we were at 13,069 and we're currently at uh, just under 2,700 homes uh, away from that to sell to sell this year, to close this year. So to do that, we need to be on pace with about 244 home closings every week uh, to do that. Again, that's overall. Um, but the, the gap is narrowing, you know, only 288, 228 homes away from that same sale pace last year where uh, it's kind of hard to see uh, right in here, but we can see that gap right here is is really narrowing, and, and that's a good sign here. If we look at uh, existing homes year-to-date closed sales, that, that gap right here is much, much narrower. Uh, we need to be on pace about 165 homes per week to, to pick up that 123 deficit that we saw here. And as promised here, new construction homes, um, just to give you an idea where they sit, uh, we closed um, uh, 2022, so just over 2,000 as of December 31st last year, and we need to close about 28 new construction single-family homes uh, per week to hit that as well, so uh, 311 away from that group. As far as the uh, days on market for existing home sales, you know, yeah, it, it's true. The, the winds aren't blowing nearly as strong this year. Um, you know, we were 16 days on market versus uh, nine days on market uh, last year at this same week. And um, so, you know, it's not quite a week's, week longer on the market. Um, but boy, I tell you, you know, if you go back far enough, back in the 90s and early 2000s, you know, the at least in the 1990s, uh, when I got into business, it wasn't uncommon for homes to be on the market 75 to 90 days on the market and you go, man, people just freak out in that type of a market in today's world. So we're, we're very much uh, in a faster paced market than we were back then. Uh, existing homes, days on, or I'm sorry, months of inventory. Um, you know, we've, <clears throat> and this is one where the, if the number goes lower, this is a good sign. This means it's kind of the pace of sales again. Um, and you can see that we are, uh, a year ago we were on this upward trend 
and uh, never did hit into a, uh, uh, a balanced market last year. And I don't think we're going to hit that again this year. Um, but we're, we're actually, uh, the last two or three weeks, we're on a downward trend where we're getting closer to that two and a half months of inventory where, you know, the, the trend last year was upwards. And uh, I think that's just a sign of uh, uh, the, the pace of market is, is being affected by the uh, affordability of the lower mortgage interest rates. Um, as far as we're, fi- we're basically going to finish out here with uh, existing condo townhomes this week. And again, you know, the gap is a little bit wider here um, and it doesn't appear to be really that much narrower. It's slightly narrower, narrower. Uh, 1,484 is our target to uh, close as of December 31st of this year to equal last year. So we're 335 away. Only 30 uh, home sales per week have to close in the condo townhome category. However, that may not sound like a lot, but that's a little bit harder to do just because of the, the fewer number of homes that are currently on the market there. So we're 64 away from last year uh, and a pace of, uh, we need to do about a pace of 30 closings per week to, to finish that out. And uh, <clears throat> the, you know, the, the hottest ticket in the town last year was uh, condominium townhome days on market. Um, you know, we're basically 19 days on market versus five. So goodness, that's a, that's quite a, a switch. You know, if you have a townhome on the market, uh, that's a, a resale townhome, condo, condominium townhome on the market this year, you know, you look back here in uh, April, uh, March and April, when, you know, they were on the market in 30 to 35 days um, on the market back at that point in time. Now, granted, we had some some tough weather and also keep in mind, uh, days on market is a product of closed sales, which occur from pending sales, you know, 30 to 60 days earlier. So this jump right here was uh, most likely affected by that uh, January snowstorms we had in, into February, early March, uh, picking up the activity. But in the, in the grand scheme of things, you know, again, um, days on market is is a, a pretty good indicator there. So. Um, the last graphic here of this show is the existing condo townhomes months of inventory. And again, we're seeing a downward trend, um, still going to be in a solid seller's market as we move into the end of the year. There's no reason to think that we'll even get into a balanced market. So if you're a home seller out there thinking about selling um, your condo or townhome before the end of the year, get it on the market. You know, there's there's buyer demand is picking up. And as well as the single family market information here. So anyway, that's kind of the show here this week. Um, I will say that next week's show, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do yet. Uh, I get to uh, hear Dr. Lawrence Yoon speak to us at the Iowa Association of Realtors uh, State Convention this Thursday morning. If you haven't registered yet, uh, re- pre-registration is closed, but you can certainly register at the door and come um, if you're going to come for just one day, come come for Thursday. Come and, and uh, hear what Dr. Lawrence Yoon is going to tell us about the, the real estate market. I'm assuming that I'll probably pick up uh, some of his information and try to compare it to what we're doing here in the central Iowa market. So next week's show will be um, an interesting one either way. So thanks again for joining me. If you enjoy what you uh, see and you're finding this content valuable, please hit that share button on uh YouTube channel, and uh, also be sure and subscribe. That uh, certainly helps uh, get the information out. So that's it. We will see you all again next week. Take care and be safe and enjoy the cooler weather.